guys, Slips on City, and on this episode of Let's Play Pokemon Moment, we're going to walk out of the Pokemon World Tournament, which on the last episode we came in here and fought Sharon, we fought Colrus, and we fought Carlos, all kicking their ass and becoming the champion of the very unepic tournament. In between episodes, I was going to train Growlithe, I mean Buddy, and I actually did, but like a couple of seconds ago, I accidentally saved over the state that had the correct save on it, so... Yeah, all that work I did is now not existent. So let's head outside and totally not happen what could possibly be going on, even though I already saw this, but I didn't read it. Hey, what's up, Carlos? Oh, and Sharon, too. I barely recognize you and Scott. And give me a second. You totally didn't see that. Oh, no, I need to click back on the screen. You two are way different from when we battled in Asperta City. Traveling with Pokemon makes everyone grow so much. They grow up so fast, though. <laughs> Oh, oh, hey there, Mr. Plasma Guy. What was that just now? Uh, uh, nothing, Carlos. I'll take care of it. Go, go home and calm down. You need a nice warm bath and or shower. I don't know why you take a bath. You're just sitting in your own filth, but... I'm going after him. Scott, come with me. Uh, but, Carlos, I, that bath kind of sounds nice right now, even though it is my own filth. But it's nice and warm and cozy and doesn't have to battle and has four gym badges. Or five, I think. Stop. In the name of Chorus, there's no reason for you to stick your necks into the something so dangerous. The Pokemon I'm looking for, my little sister's Purloin, it might be with them. It's Carl- uh, Carlos just gotta give up and accept the things he can't change. I'm going too. I've got his back. Well, thanks to show me up as his best friend, asshole. His best, that sounded like I said his best friend was named asshole. Uh, emphasis really can change what a sentence means. Also, commas. I don't understand. That's not courage, it's recklessness. Does he think anything is possible simply because he has his Pokemon with him? Uh, y you pretty much hit Carlos straight the nail on the head of the hammer. No, no, that's not possible. All trainers and Pokemon are bound to one another by Pokeballs. Then maybe it is this bond that will allow trainers to overcome the impossible if they trust their partner Pokemon. Well, I definitely don't trust save states. I trust in my Pokemon, but when they're not the correct levels, I can't believe them the completely impossible. So, looks like Culver's is just going to chill there. And let's follow after these two bumbling and it, see where they went. I guess we're going to have some epic showdown on the pier. And, ooh, item. PVF, cool. And it seems like a lot less than the first Let's Play. There's a lot less people telling me where stuff is, which is good and bad in its own ways. I'm guessing it's because less people have played Black 2 and White 2, and that's a loading screen. That's really weird. And no sound, this is gonna be epic. This ship, this ship! Why is it so cold? Cold storage is now portable! <laughs> and? It seems like it's disguised as an old sailboat. But secretly, it's a giant bomb! But that can't be it, right? Oh, this is new Team Plasma base! Why should you care? By the time we're done with you, it won't matter anyway. Uh-oh! We're gonna get screwed over. You guys, seriously, this is Team Plasma's base? I guess the, the pirate hats are right. They are sort of... They're taking off Team Aqua. Oh, guys! I can't... I don't think we can do, like, a six-man battle. Correct answer! So that's why, as you can see... Oh, no! <laughs> oh, Lord, we're screwed. There's so many of us here. Is this all? I think... <laughs> <laughs> really, Carlos? You're gonna, you're gonna end up in a back alley with both of your kidneys gone one day. Ha ha ha! Ooh, I'm so scared, big tough guy. Okay, pulverize these punks. Plasma! Hey, just to let you know, I'm about to unleash my rage. Uh-oh. Carlos, what the hell are you doing? Oh, are we gonna get double battled? How are we going to take... I don't know, Carlos and his magical Pokemon. But... Boy, these battles are mainly going to be for me, unless I have the type advantage. I'm going to be switching the cover buddy's ass and getting him some levels in these fights. Especially because these guys are level 30, and Car uh, buddy's only level 23. No, I want to name my Pokemon Carlos. That's insulting. Uh, coughing, I believe he is Levitate, so we'll switch in the Zora. Well, no matter what ability he had, I was switching in the Zora. So, because he's just basically going to take a hit and most likely die. And I'm not going to get... I'm not going to be stupid and be like, oh... He's not Zora now because I know of Illusion. I, I remember it now. And let's go for Faint Attack. Hopefully they just do some sort of damage so that... What should we call it? What's his name? Why can't I think of his name? I'm so bad with the Pokemon. And it's not like I can go back and forth with some of the Pokemon by going to the regular name and the nickname. Oswald. 
Hopefully Oz won't be able to one-shot him with his high level. I would, uh, I guess we could also go with Lucario, but I don't know the Steel Poison type matchup. I know Poison can affect Steel, but that's all I know. So we'll just go Oswald for the safe and wait till we have a chance to have a type advantage. Anyways, one Pokemon. And how's this gonna work? I mean, most likely we defeat them and then we take over the boat? I don't understand how this would go in Pokemon logic. Or maybe we fight some of them and it's just like, this is too much, we run, and then the boat takes off to another port. I guess that's kind of cool that the main team base is portable in this game. So they're just like, they could be anywhere. Plasma on the sea, well, anywhere with an ocean. That kind of narrows it down a little bit, especially because I think this, the thing is weird and wow, look at all those levels from Buddy. You, so you're a trainer who fights while believing in your Pokemon, are you? You sicken me. Next, next, hurry up already! It's my turn. Actually, it's Trubbish time! Uh-oh. Carlos. I mean, what? No! Why do I keep calling all my Pokemon Carlos? Everyone's Carlos. It's actually, uh, what I would call Sandile time, also known as Steve time. Now, can I switch right into Steve and hope for the best? I'm going to take that as a yes and hope for the best. Yes, yeah, Steve can take it. Steve's a beast. I, Everyone knows about Steve, so we should be good. I, I feel bad for anyone who hasn't seen that episode, and every time I just go like, Steve, everyone just is completely weirded out. Like, like, why is he emphasizing Steve so much? So let's just come in here, and I believe we just gotta dig ho ho holes, dig it, gotta dig ho, dig it up, uh, oh, holes, holes, you got to go dig those holes. That was a wonderful movie. I didn't read the book, but Shia LaBeouf is my hero. If, if you could be any person, you would want to be Shia LaBeouf. You don't want to be like Batman or some sort of other person. I, I love how that's my automatic person. Okay, you can be like Batman. You can be uh, Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne is also a person I want to be. Moxie for no reason is also. I love I love having that Moxie. That Foxy Moxie. Rocking some brand new socksy. I don't know the rest of the Watsky rhyme. I'm sorry, but plasma! Oh, we had a double plasma, plasma, Pl uh, double shot of plasma, please, with the side of uh, decaf half cat latte. What's with this trainer? This reminds me of the trainer who messed us up two years ago. It's because I'm the same person with the same name. So what? What now? They just stand up. Okay, attendant soldiers, I'm taking over. This is the new, new team plasma, run by Scott. Carlos, how you doing over here? This is a piece of cake. Go back up share. Oh, okay. Wow, Carlos. It's two against one now. Scott, I'd like to show them what the two of us can do. So can you help me out? And I guess we get a double battle with our good old friend, Sharon. Well, not technically our good old friend. Me as a person's good old friend. Me as a person's digital character from another video game's personal friend from another video game where we were the protagonist of that person having their digital friend. So basically, I have no idea what I'm talking about, which is not different from any other time. So, what should we do here? Oh yeah, and he copied off my old digital friends guy by getting a Statland. Who doesn't love 3 Dog? I think we're still going to switch out for Buddy. Hopefully, Statland can just destroy everything while I bring Steve in to possibly get his ass kicked. I may lose. Nah, 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 nah. With Statland's beast attack and severe overlevelness and some of my Pokemon at least getting one attack down, we'll be able to get out of here alive. Yeah, see, Stellan's a beast. We'll be fine. And I believe Steve, yeah. I knew Steve could probably take it, but he's not going to survive till next turn because of that poison. It's a shame. Oh, well, maybe. Because I didn't know Leftovers kicked in before poison. I forget the order of that. But, oh, no, nah, I don't think Leftovers is enough. Because, uh, no, I thought poison was 1 8th, and then maybe it's 1 6th. Because I know Leftovers is 1 7th, I believe. I, I know it's... Probably 1 7th. I'm pretty sure it's 1 7th for leftovers, so I'm guessing uh, badly poison. I'm not sure if he's badly poison or regular poison, but I think it's 1 6th. And I guess we'll go for Grimer even though it doesn't matter because he just got knocked out. And let's get Golbat knocked out. And Buddy can't get any XP at all. This XP sucks. I'm going to definitely have to go redo that off screen training. But hey, it's worth it. Especially because I wrote this down. I got my super in depth notes for this Let's Play. And by super in depth notes, I have a post-it notes thing. Actually, it's an off-brand post-it note that I got a while ago that I never used. Oh, and I guess he does have more Pokemon, and it doesn't matter. Hopefully, we can outspeed his evolution of Steve-O. It looks like Steve will probably evolve soon if 29 
and this guy is super crocodile form. But eh, you never know. Sometimes those lovers are misceiving, mis are deceiving. And geez, okay, you can take all the credits, Deadline. We don't need to do anything. Uh, oh, that's kind of cool. It shows like if it's a critical hit just on one person. Hopefully that. Oh, I was hoping it wouldn't be enough to knock it out, or Oswald would get killed so we could bring Buddy back in. Oh, at least Buddy gets a decent amount of XP. But talking about my post-it note, I have a post-it note with all my notes for this let's play on it. It just says Growlithe Evo level 34 is the level I need to use Firestone on him, which I still don't have. So let's water pulse. I want you to die, Oswald. Die in a hole. I probably should have used something that doesn't damage, because if I. Well, didn't even matter, Statlin. And Sharon, who I rip on too much, is too much of a beast. Ooh, Oswald is also in that good level up sweet spot, so we might be seeing it soon. Usually it's like 32 to 36, I would say. And. Uh, uh, nope. Thanks, you really become much stronger. How about Carlos next, okay? But, but Carlos doesn't need her help. Carlos is nice and good taking on five guys at once. He's got those horde battles already. Look around you. See how many of us there are? Just surrender already. Can't stop me. Uh, I guess that's not the guy we're supposed to talk to. Hey, Carlos, what's up? I'm going to end this, so back me up. Plasma Punk, you are the thief who stole a purloin in Asperta City five years back. What if this is actually the guy? What if it was actually him? Actually, factually. What if he's actually a part of old Team Plasma? But now he's... That okay, I'm just going to stop my stupid fan theories there. And no, it's probably not actually the guy. Unless we are fighting against a pur purloin in that case. Oh my god, it's crazy. And ah, uh, I love the protagonist standing right next to Carlos throwing the Pokemon in. It's just like one of those moments. Like, you know in some games where you get to the... Oh wow, my team's getting their ass kicked. You get to the end and it's just one of those moments where like everyone you had met in that journey comes together and they just kick ass. Like the end of Black 1 where, uh, spoilers, but I guess not really. Because I think you would have... Excuse me. If you cared about the story of the first game, you wouldn't be launching a Let's Play of the second game. But I guess I can't fault you on that. I've done stupid spoilers as I get knocked out by this Grimer. Whoa, really? I don't get knocked out even though the poison's gonna kill me. Uh, in the first game, at the very end, all the gym leaders come and they like hold off all the sages while you get to go fight N. It's so epic. It just those parts in games where it's just one of those things where you would like imagine like everyone coming together and just being awesome. It's just one of those things in games I really love. Just, like, epic blockbuster moment. And I probably, he'll get knocked out. Oh, no, he won't. Even though I don't know why I sh eh. I'm not sure about fighting and poison things. At least I'm dodging damage and getting Buddy more XP in some sort of way. And I hope that Carlos has another Pokemon to send out. Or it's, if it's just me and Buddy, I'm going to be a little bit scared. Okay, cool. He's got a Simseer, which... I guess it'll be good in this situation, it won't be awful. Oh yeah, with that level, we'll be perfectly fine. What? Oh, okay, I was wondering, like, how does he get to get set down and attack immediately? I really hope he doesn't bring in a levitating Pokemon, that wouldn't be very good. Oh yeah, it automatically does it. Oh, what the? Uh, ow! That's gonna suck. Everyone brace for impact, I wish I would've dug a turn earlier. And... Wow! <laughs> Aurora's just like, really? An explosion? You, you really think that's gonna hurt me? I'm I'm a pseudo legendary, bro. Oh, and I guess we do have two good Pokemon. I think Simseer has got some sort of fighting in him. I, I I talk about like it's a breed of something. Like there's more than I guess there is mixed type, so that's that. But he just he's like one of those Pokemon you'd imagine has like a fighting has some sort of fighting side within him. Not like fighting as a literal thing. Like fighting as the type. You you know what I mean? I. I, I, maybe I think into video games way too seriously, but that's one of the things I find fun and I usually talk about a lot in my Let's Plays, like, what I assume is going to be next by, I don't know if game theory, I think game theory is something completely different, but it's what I consider game theory, and I think there's actually, wait, did he get, con oh, I thought he got confused by the Sucker Punch, I, like, that's crazy and makes Sucker Punch a little overpowered, but, I know there's a guy on YouTube who makes videos about game theory and it's like stuff about video games. It's kind of cool. I think I subscribed to him because I found him recently. But, uh, me blathering on about nothing, we beat all these grunts and I like predicting what will happen next. Okay, either we're going to get kicked off the ship and they're going to fly away. <laughs> Osmo! We've got one with a stuttering problem. And or they're going to leave the ship and we're going to take it over and we're going to sail into the sunset in victory. But it's just... Taking over the ship part now, the sailing and the victory. Hey! You're kidding! This is no good! What should we do? 
Oh, I was waiting for the guy to be like, Plasma! That's the last of them. Well now, why don't you tell me everything you know about Purloin? I'm a gangster with a cause. It's a little Pokemon kitty cat. Good idea. There's a lot of things I want to ask about as well. <laughs> it's like, oh, what do we really need to ask about? What's, what's our priorities about our uh, new Team Plasma? Uh, what they're planning to do? World Destruction? Eh, Purloin, we'll go first. And, oh, please be with the return of N. Or Colorist being like he's the big leader of these guys. Oh, it's a, just a sage. Eh. And he looks like a poison sage. Oh, good grief. Charlie Brown. Sharon Brown. You're the person who was shivering in the cold storage, right? Ah, uh, that idiot. Wasn't your name... I'm not even gonna try. You're going to have to tell me what you're planning to do with this ship. You! Once again, we will use the legendary dragon-type Pokemon to rule the Unova region. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Ah, uh, it just... It's laughable how stupid some villains are. Curious trainers, we shall not let you run around as you please. What? What? Shadow Triad, get them out of- Oh yeah, those guys! The ninjas! By the way, we are not your- I know, but kick them out of here now! Move! Really? 15 <laughs> Carlos is looking around, he's like, what the hell? We're, we're, we're Shadow Triad! Uh, I love how 15 guys can't kick us off a ship, but 3 ninjas can. The Shadow Triad, what's their deal anyway? Ah! Team Plasma! Where did we vanish to? Where did they vanish to? The Shadow Triad. With their superhuman powers, they can immobilize people and then disappear. But I'm more concerned with what that guy said. Once again, we will use the legendary dragon. I heard him too! He's gonna take over the world! Oh, what could that mean? What do you think taking over the world the dragon-type Pokemon means? Aren't in the Unova region anymore. Scott, there's something I want you to look into, but... So I'm going to head to Route 6. Be careful out there. And I guess that ends our episode off here. We're still not knowing what Colrus is association with these guys are i'm curious i it actually sort of a curiosity story that they're bringing in the pokemon these two games peak of pokemon so happy i'm gonna be able to get x and y to that multiple times but let me not blather on like i usually do with outros next time on let's play pokemon white 2 we will possibly head over to route 6 to see what sharon is going on with or we'll just head over to the next gym and kick someone's ass that i don't know what gym leader is coming up next and we'll do some stuff so i've been saved untitled if you enjoyed like if you didn't enjoy dislike if you enjoyed a lot and you really love me you can love me by showing me that heart which is known as a favorite and i'm making an upside down heart symbol with my fingers i said i wouldn't make this outro wrong see you guys next time